Hello, Claire Manson here. I get a lot of people on DeviantArt asking how I make my cake, so today I'm going to do a quick video of how I make my basic sponge cake. I will put the link to the recipe below. Um, it's soon to be my daughter's birthday, so this cake is going to be the basis cake for that. Um, after that, I'm gonna after it's baked, I'm gonna freeze it and decorate the day before I need it. So here we go. First, we're gonna need 450 grams of soft butter, which I quickly um, melted in the microwave just to soften it, just to about 45 seconds. Now that's nice and soft, I'm gonna add 450 grams of sugar. And mix that in until it's nice and fluffy and pale. There we go. Nice and fluffy. Now I'm just gonna get my spatula and give it a mix because the butter does like to get in the corners and not mix properly. Now I've got nine eggs. That's per 50 grams of flour. That is one egg. Mix that in until it's really fluffy. Now I'm just gonna go again. I'm going to use my spatula because there's a few little lumps changing around the edges. Sometimes it does curdle a bit like that because if the temperature of the butter and the eggs are different but it's nothing to really to worry about once you add your flour it will soon mix in and be fine again i'm going to give this a quick mix with a spatula before i put the mixer in in case it goes everywhere which has happened several times to me mostly happens with ice and sugar that always gets it everywhere no matter what I do this is self-raising flour by the way if you don't have self-raising flour you can use all-purpose flour called plain flour in England and just add a few teaspoons of baking powder there I've got carrots and talking I always make a mess, no matter how try, how hard I try not to. You don't want to over beat the flour part because it can make the cake tough. So here now I need to get clean this up in a minute. that's pretty much the basics done you just if you can add uh, flavoring if you want uh, vanilla anything really and you can put drop fruit in that'll take longer to cook but now we've got to put it in my prepared tins I put um, oiled it a little bit and put some baking paper in the size underneath so it doesn't stick you can use or if you want, but this is, I know it won't stick with this. And equally, put it between each pan. I'm doing three big ones and one little one because I'm doing my, my daughter's birthday cake. I'm doing it a particular shape, but that's the plan. Anyway, so the little one's going to be going on top. I've already preheated my oven to 180 degrees Celsius. I've made quite a lot of cake mixture here. I probably won't need it all, but it's just extra just in case I burn anything or anything goes wrong. I like to have a backup plan. Uh 
and I don't like to fill it all the way to the top in case it does <coughs> decide to bubble over during cooking. Doesn't matter when it, if it comes out slightly not the same size as each other when it's done baking because I am going to slice the tops off anyway. Yeah, that. Right, that's the three big ones almost done. Give us this a little gap at the top. Just so it won't. It's the little one that takes the longest to cook because it's a deeper tin. I don't know if you can hear my kids in the background showing there. They're playing Minecraft as they always do. They are obsessed with that game. Doesn't have to be perfect because I am going, like I said, going to slice the tops off and be covering it completely. Now it's got to go into the oven. About the big ones will take about 20 minutes, and the little one will probably take 25-30. It's been 20 minutes, and now my uh, three bigger cakes are ready. So I'm just going to put them on the cooling rack. I just in their cake in their tins. If I try to get them out of their tins now, they might break so I'm just gonna even to cool completely and still waiting for my other one to cook that's not done yet but once they're fully cooled I'm gonna tip them out of the tins and wrap them in some baking paper and then in some um, of these freezer bags and then I'm going to put them in a cake tin container and then I'm going to freeze it until I need it next week and that's it I hope you liked my video. Bye! <laughs>